like I'm one of the guys. You gotta make it happen, Captain. Am I right? That's right. Hi, I'm Travis Schwartz. I'm here today at the Hazmart Pharmacy on Mountain Home Air Force Base, and I'm talking with Hazardous Materials Program Manager, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Travis. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I guess for starters, what is the Hazmart Pharmacy? The Hazmart Pharmacy is where individuals and shops will pick up the materials that they've ordered using government funds. Okay, so that sort of brings up a question for me, which is, what is the difference between industrial hazardous materials and just regular hazardous materials? Those industrial hazardous materials have been actually purchased with government funds and have been barcoded oh, okay. to show that. The difference, I guess, in, in we bring it down to Travis terms, layman terms, if I go out and I buy a big old jug of oil, like for my car, you know, for the jalopy, uh, with my own money, uh, that is an industrial material. Or no, that is a hazardous material. It's not industrial at all. If I go out and buy that with government funds, it then gets barcoded and it becomes an industrial hazardous material. That's correct, and those materials are used on base in our shops. I bowed to the camera because I got that right. Well, maybe we can take a look around the Hazmart and you can show me some of the different items that we're talking about Definitely. And, and how to do it right. Sounds good. Let's go over okay. here. So Travis, here are some items that we have available in the free issue right now. That's cool. So there's, there's a lot of different things that could end up here, right? Right. And so how would somebody know in one of the shops what is available at any given time? We'll send out periodic notices um, with the inventory that's available at any given time, but also they can call or stop by. What's the criteria for items being brought to the Hazmark? Well, you can see here we have our ESO Miss Barcode on this item, right. so they do have to be barcoded industrial okay. items. Okay. The containers need to be free of corrosion. Um, we don't want to see any leaks. Lids need to be secure. Right. Um, containers. No oozy stuff coming out of them. No, nope, right. none of that. Okay. We want things to be clearly labeled with the original labeling. Okay. Um, the items have to be serviceable and reusable. We don't want anything empty. And we, we would like to have items that aren't past their shelf life. Okay, so good looking barcoded cans with stuff in them, materials in them that is actually reusable. Correct. All right, so what if some, you know, some lazy slacker uh, who doesn't have all these criteria met, he brings some oozing barrel of something over to the Hazmart that doesn't meet the criteria, what happens to those items? Because we want to make sure that they're still disposed of properly, mm -hmm. we'll take that item. We'll take it over to the CCF and make sure it gets disposed of as waste. Okay. And how much does all this cost? Um, this is all actually free. Free of charge. But I mean, for the people that want to use the Hazmart, what's... how much? Um, nothing. We just require, again, that you do have the correct authorization okay. to have that particular item. Okay. And it is a first-come, first-served basis here. But other than that, absolutely free. So, there is absolutely no reason why you wouldn't participate in this program because it's free, it saves us money, it's helping the environment, and it's the right thing to do. Would you say that's right? That's right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Megan. Thank you, Travis. And now I think I would like to go and maybe play in that vat of oil. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can get, like, maybe shoulder deep into it. That's probably against the rules. <laughs> 